So just wanted to shoot another quick little video here, Project Turbo LS uh, front brakes. Um, originally this uh, Ford Thunderbird 1980 came with the uh, 10 inch rotors which you see in the background but the problem was it had uh, four lugs so the pattern was a four on uh, four and a quarter bolt hole circle pattern so four lugs on a four and four and a quarter bolt hole circle so basically that's okay but the problem is you're limited with rims that you can use so I decided to uh, well first I made the mistake I bought the Mustang 2 kit from Speedway Motors uh, nine and a quarter rotor the spindles are the same but the geometry of the rotor is slightly different so uh, it didn't work so instead of re-engineering everything and figuring out a different brake system I just basically redrilled these four lug factory 10 inch rotors for, to a uh, five on four and a half inch bolt hole circle pattern so that now that matches the rear that you guys can see there so because that was those are 31 spline axles and they have the five on four and a half bolt hole circle uh, so now everything matches and we got rid of the, the four lugs so that's a cheap way that you can uh, convert your four lug rotors to uh, five lug just have them re-drilled and uh, it should work out pretty good so basically what I want to show you guys here is this is the Speedway Motors Mustang 2 kit so you get the two nine and a quarter rotors here's one of them and here's the other guy upside down and you get of course uh, the brake pads so brake pads right there you get that you get the two rotors then you get the grease seals and the bearings inner and outer so it's actually a pretty good deal like it's like 83 us for everything so that's not bad so anyways i thought it would work but the geometry is slightly different so i basically i'd have to re-engineer the whole brake system to make this work or buy the 11 inch rotor for the Mustang 2 which was about 263 which is still not bad or what I did in my case is I just re-drilled the factory 10 inch rotors because that was the cheapest option in my case uh, Tim from Aztec Machine did the work really good guy good machine shop here in Calgary and uh, yeah so he did a really good job and uh, basically drilled the uh, five lug on a 4.5 inch bolt hole circle he even spot faced where the studs seat so that's really good so a nice positive engagement there and then he of course he filled the the existing four lug holes with a threaded and loctited slug in there so that's not going to come out because it'll be a sandwich between the uh, the wheel and that's it so anybody who wants to do this can actually do that to whatever pattern they want to any rotor so if they want to put a Chevy rim on they can go 5x4.75 or a 5x5 five five bolt hole circle and just redrill your existing rotors. It's a cheap way to put whatever rims you want on your car without having to buy an expensive rotor or brake system. So I'll just try to do this in one take here. And uh, yeah, there it is. I mounted it, grease packed the bearings, and that's what it looks like now. So you can still see where the original lugs studs were you can see those four the four studs and slugs in here and there was only only impingement impingement on this guy just a very minor so no problem there uh, so this is a the best fit you got to kind of play around with it so uh, you have the least uh, interference so yeah so just one of them basically right here kind of impinged on the uh, the new location of the 4.5 inch bolt hole circle because this was originally a four by four and a quarter so the reason i did this is, of course is because i wanted to match the rear end here this is a ford 8.8 .8 with a 31 spline axles and uh they came with a five on 4.5 inch bolt hole circle uh, lug pattern so i wanted to match this to the front and i also have a bigger selection of wheels i can use now plus it's just a, a more positive holding on that on that rim so it's a lot better more stable so yeah so that's uh that's what we did here so now i can use the factory calipers and everything like that i know it's only a 10 inch rotor but this is a pretty light car so uh 10 inch rotor and in the back the explorer rotors they're 11 and a quarter so i think with the 11 and a quarter rotor i know it's a small one up front it should be fine i'm not too worried so it's a pretty light car. I know we're gonna have some good speed with the power that's gonna be, make, be making, but uh, 
again. Uh, we'll see how it works. It'll be fine, I think. Not too worried. And here's just a shot of the, uh, the spindle and the factory caliper. So there we go guys, another uh, another video, Project Turbo LS, front rotors and brakes and redrilling of those uh, rotors so we can now use uh, the rims we want because there's a nice big selection of uh, 5 on 4.5 rims that we can, we can get and I've already got the rims, just waiting for the fronts to come in so I can bolt those on. I probably won't bolt them on because I want to do all the work for us and just put shitty rims on there and then just have some fun doing burnouts and, and shit like that. But uh, yeah, so there we go. There's the uh, front rotors figured out and brake system on the front. So again, that's a 10 inch rotor. And in the back we have the, the Explorer rotors that I uh, modified that rear end and made that work. That's 11 and a quarter. So we got four wheel discs on an old 1980 Fox body or Ford Thunderbird. So again, guys, thanks for watching.